Yo! What's up, people? How we doing? How we doing? Starting to stream a little bit early. Because I have, uh... Somebody that I've been blowing off that I need to try to meet with. Hey, Bill. How's it going? Oh yeah, fuck, I forgot about this. Right. Get this music figured out. Okay, okay, okay. I think we're good to go. Oofa. Um, I don't remember what day these posters need to come down. Or, need to picked up and put back. Um, while I am here, though... Wee woo, what? The fuck? Who is this next to me? That send one to Constance. Cozy. One spy, right? Yeah. Cool all. Yeah. 
kepek wolo ah uh, who else who else do we not see all the time m m m that works i think that's about it i think that's that's all of our bartenders oh okay well there goes what what i was gonna do this this afternoon <laughs> all right Hmm. What to do? What to do? And we'll go up to Rhodes. I think that's what we'll do. <laughs> Got some marship on it. I don't remember the correct way to pronounce that. You need a lot more. Damn. Oh, fuck. I gotta go, uh, pick up some shit before we leave. What the fuck was that? Hmm. Um. I'm good on ammo for now. I'm gonna get bandages in a medical bag. Marscarpone. Yeah, that's, I thought, uh, I thought it was spelled wrong. I thought there was an A in there. You had me all confused for a second. Mascarpone. <clears throat> there you go. Let's get this shit. Fuck. Come on. Bandage. These. Damn. Did I really go through fucking seven things of gun oil yesterday? I need like two more little tubs. Damn. That is a lot. Mascarpone. I've never understood the appeal of cheesecake. In like, my situation's a little bit unique, I guess, but. Yeah, dude, that's a lot of fucking money on gun oil. Can I just. I'll fill these out, but I won't do any more. Uh, so I need 29. Look at that. I need four. Four. Yeah, I've just I've just never been able to really understand it. <laughs> Probably because I can't really eat cheese. Turn this off. Oh, I got a telegram. That's good timing. Who's that? That's probably from Aiden. Hey. What the hell is going Aiden. on over there? I, f I don't fucking know. I walked right past it and kept walking. Huh. <laughs> 
I don't want to fucking know. Yeah, I'm assuming that was you just telegramming me? Yeah, just telling you that I'm up and about and fucking conscious. Hmm, good. I'm, not, I'm probably gonna go take a ride over the roads. Relax a little okay. bit. Alright. <clears throat> uh, Sounds good. I'll come with you. Okay. And I, I went through seven bottles of gun oil yesterday. Yeah, it doesn't shock me. Oh. Was that Angelo? Oh, no, that's not Angelo. He crunchy did a lot of gunfire yesterday. We did. How were things after I uh, brought Willow down to the city? It was alright. I think everybody will pull through. Okay. Uh. Yeah, uh, two guys who got hit with a pump got it the worst. Yeah. Yeah, I guess Demizio was picking some shot out of his ass or something in the hospital. I'm gonna be honest, I was trying to do a lot of shit and keep myself conscious, so. Mm -hmm. okay, depending on um, whenever we can get as many people around from last night as we can, chat about it a little bit. Sure. I struggle to see the efficacy in this conflict for for Rogers. What do you mean ethic by ethic by ethic efficacy? I'm not sure really what they're trying to gain. They I suppose I can only describe my confusion last night after I awoke as utter fucking confusion mm -hmm. on why the fuck they are even they pursuing this. Us. Oh. Yeah, I yes, I mean <laughs> Yeah, that was confusing to me as well. I woke to them, like, shooting the shit. It, going off to me about being worried about us surviving and... Hmm. Saying what a good challenge we were. I don't even fucking remember exactly what the conversation was because it was just starting to piss me off, but... Like, <laughs> it's like belittling. Yeah, like, is it a fucking game to them? Mm hmm I just... I fail to see why half of them aren't locked up in a fucking institution if they find gunfire <laughs> to be fun and enriching. Hey, I'm gonna get an argument here. Ugh. They've always been irrational. Yeah. <clears throat> Like, on one hand, they're insisting that you kneel in front of them and fucking kiss the ground, and on another hand, yeah, they are... They're shooting the shit while they're catching the sound. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like, you didn't just try to fucking kill me, and I didn't just fucking try to kill you. Mm-hmm. At least give me the fucking decency of Don with some kind of fucking respect. So, well, what I would do... It's just strange. If... If it was the other way around... We would have thrown them on our horses, dumped them off in Van Horn, and left. Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure, somebody there, his friend, will help him out. Help him out. I ain't in the business of getting nobody locked up. 
Yeah, pretty much. I mean, as far as I'm concerned, they can all bleed out and die. <clears throat> No. I just... <laughs> I don't know. Hey, it's fucking here. strange. Oh, bonjour, Mr. Barletti. Hey, boy, sweetheart. Mr. Barletti, Aiden, how are you? Camille, how are you? Good day. How are you, Doing good? Sure? Doing pretty all right so far. Is there anything I can help you with? Yeah, you're gonna need vermouth would... back there. There you go. Uh, vermouth? I'm not too sure. Yeah, if you want, you can just pour it in a whiskey glass. <clears throat> I only drink the Italian kind, so if you don't got Italian, don't bother. Of course. <clears throat> I'll try to see if I got any back here, but I haven't really seen a bottle like yet. If not, Maybe I've just then, been reading uh, some of them wrong. And a glass of Tennessee will do just fine. And a glass of Irish, darling, while you're at it. Of course. <clears throat> and, wow, there we are. It's just right there. <laughs> exactly what you were looking for. And I'll pour it in a whiskey glass. Beautiful hair that it works. Like I was expecting. <laughs> Honestly, I didn't expect to find it so easily, but there it was, just right before my eyes, <clears> right <throat> under my workspace. <laughs> How's it been uh, here today? Quiet. Mm. The business is good, aren't you? Every day's a new adventure. Pas trop, pas trop. Could imagine. And how are you doing, Mr. Barlet? <clears throat> well, I'm not too shabby. I've been better. Thank you, sweetheart. Of course. And you said Irish whiskey for you, Aiden? Yes, please. They would be wonderful. It would be my pleasure. Anything interesting happening over in the city? Yeah, there's always interesting things going on in St. Denis. But, um... Man, as far as the last couple of days, no. It's been, uh... Quiet, I suppose. Yeah. yeah. I woke up and there was a group of four people crouching, staring at each oh, other yeah, with animals was... on their heads. Yeah, so weird. if you count that as interesting, what? I suppose that's interesting. Yeah, though. Valentine creeps closer and closer to the city every yes. goddamn day. Jesus the words Christ. I would have it for is a little bit fucking inane, but interesting could certainly describe it. Mm. <clears throat> How about you? How are you doing, Eleanor? Yeah, I'm doing just fine. I was in the Hamadio today. Um, Hamadillo? Yes. Ah, it's Ahmed, a long way. Yes. It's a very long there? way. The Spanish lessons, have you heard about this? Oh, that's oh, right. Yes, I've, yeah. I've seen I mean, the no, poster for that. 
Chandler, and then, right? No, you, you, you was there the last yeah, 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 yeah. Two, two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you didn't show up for this one. You, you bad. Uh, I was a little bit preoccupied. Oh, all right. Fair. I'm, uh, I'm a busy man. I got a lot of things going on all the time. Somebody I'm taking a piss man. out back or something? What is that? No, no, it's raining. It's raining. Oh, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's raining cards. Huh. So, uh, how'd the lessons go? What'd you learn this week? Oh, we learned the, the numbers. Uh, I don't think she sounds um, too much different. And the days. And also, you know, you know the Spanish. He, he teach us that rabbit in Spanish means, you know, the very intimate part of a woman. But how do you say rabbit in Spanish? Conejo. <laughs> Conejo. Conejo, yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> that means you know the the fighting. Yeah, maybe she didn't get a better mic. Yeah. Why is that the crazy? Word for I got the same I don't know. I don't know. It's the it's just the way to say it, yeah. <laughs> because men find it elusive. <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> it's something that I don't know. I don't know. My lord. Interesting. Yeah, Spanish. Oh, also, Mr. Barley, did that told you that I sell French cigarettes? You did, yes. Oh, yeah. I, um, actually, hang on. I'll actually buy some from you. Oh, home, home, much. Uh, full pack of 20? It's only $3 a pack of 20. Okay. Is a little bit extra. Thank you. I appreciate it. All right. Let's have a taste, huh? Taste of France. Hey, not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. Mm. Isn't the best cigarette that you have never tried before? Mm, I don't know about that. It's a tall order. A what? What did you say? It's tough to beat some of that stuff that comes out of the Caribbean. It's a tall order. <sighs> Are these dipped in something? Say that again, sorry? Are these dipped in something? I don't know this word. What is this word? Dip, like you put it into Dip? something. Oh, uh, they... It's got a they, little flavor to it. Yeah, the guy told me that they put a bit of cognac in it. And also, oh. the, the, the tobacco leaves are dry in very, very slowly way. So that makes the taste more uh, deep, you know. Mm. And there is a, a slight... Taste of ch chestnut, apparently, in it. Chestnut, okay. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I can kind of get that. Mm. Yeah, I think it's better than Italian cigarettes. Oh! <laughs> you know, That's quite a statement. I think Italy is more known for... Uh, Producing uh, tobacco in uh, oh, is that France. So? Yeah. My thing. What is an Italian cigarette? What is it? What? Name brand of Italian cigarette. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna look I mean, it up. you're battling. Well, none because I have over the. Is that forgettable? Is that what you say? Forgettable. Uh, I mean, look, I'm not. I'm not. French versus Italian. Uh, I, I wasn't born like, in Italy. Tobacco's so... not a. Yeah, they, they, the, they're uh, not. American export. Yeah, it's it's uh, the best We're tobacco the from from Guam. Tobacco. Yeah. Guam. Mm -hmm. I do not agree with that. You don't it's agree. full of no 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 no. It's full of sick disease. I'm pretty sure there is disease, disease in this. Yeah, 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 I'm sure there is disease in this tobacco in Guam. 
Okay, what kind of disease? <laughs> you know, this is from mosquito. Well, I'm pretty sure there is in it in the cigarettes. Probably okay, okay, okay. They I might put say mosquitoes in the cigarettes. No, no, no. I'm saying that cigarettes can give you disease. You can be sick. It's the cigarette of karma. But okay, probably, probably the the, the cigar. The cigar will be okay. But it, it's all from tobacco, though. Yeah, it's not the same. Well, yeah, I guess it's not the same they, tobacco. They but... put a bit of honey, honey in the in the uh, cigar. They honey. put a bit on. Yes, yes, a bit. Huh. Wait, you've never had a cigar with a honey tip? No, I don't think yeah, so. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. That's Ooh, it. you're missing out. Yeah, you're missing something, oh, Mr. Barletti. You hmm. are missing out. Yes. And what, that's a Caribbean thing? I don't know if it's a Caribbean thing. I think it's more of an American thing. American thing? Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah probably. It's like a southern thing. Mm, okay. But in Cuba, they do that as well. They don't mix it in with the tobacco. They, right, they dip just, it in. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It's just a honey tip. Mm -hmm. So you yeah. put it on your lips when you take a smoke. Exactly. Perfection. Oh, interesting. Ooh, so it's on a mouth shine. Yeah, 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 it's a similar concept to, you know, rimming a glass with sugar. Sure, or sure. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, I mean, I've heard the cigarettes dipped in booze and stuff like that, and then they got to dry all out again, but... Yeah, I've never heard of the honey before, but it makes sense. I can see how that's uh, tasteful. Interesting. Ah, wait, how do they get the honey in? They dip it. Oh. Yeah, they just, they dip the mouthpiece, basically. The end that you cut, they just uh, dip it in just a little bit of honey. You know, not enough to, not enough to be a fucking mess, but enough that when you take a smoke, you just get a slightly sweet taste. Mm. Exactly. So... What did, what did the honey dip cigarettes have to do with disease? Uh, nothing. No, I'm just saying I don't like the cigarette from Guarma. I don't like Guarma. I think Guarma is shit. What? Yeah. How so? Uh, well, for many reasons. Well, first of all, it's very expensive to go there, which is stupid. Guarma is full of snakes, mosquitoes, disease, dangerous things, outlaws, no rules, oh, pirates. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, things who are illegal here, it's legal there. This oh, is sure, yeah. Yeah, there's, yeah. There's snakes and mosquitoes all over the place around here, too. Just take a walk into no, the swamps the of Lemoyne. Also, no, 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 it's not the same. Yeah, <laughs> plenty of outlaws here. <laughs> That's for sure. Well, yeah, you know what? Yeah, we I don't know. have a white sandy beach. This is true. We don't got the ocean. Yeah. The weather's much better out there, too. No sunny beach with a bar over the water. They got a great crab stable over there. Oh. Yeah, well, who's this? Wait, they got we a bar over the water? Yeah, they yeah. do. They have a dock bar It's over a nice there. spot. <clears throat> we, we got like a whole resort over there. Well, I don't like Wama, that's all. <laughs> okay. I think it's a marketing <laughs> scheme. Cut out the Guam and cigarette competition. Hmm. Um, French cigarette is just better, that's all. Everybody's entitled to their own opinion. <laughs> but I do think it's stupid when people call American cigarettes shit. Well, I mean, uh, that no, they are not shit. Hello, welcome. Yeah, considering tobacco is one of America's biggest, biggest exports. exports. Yeah. yeah. I mean, down here, it's fucking perfect for growing it. I mean, what's the best condition for growing tobacco anyway? Warm, humid, humid, yeah. Like Lemoyne. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, not exactly. dry. Like, you know, you couldn't, wouldn't be great out in like California or something. Yeah, that's better for Too dry. Yeah, it's better for grapes. Isn't there like mm. a tobacco plantation out east, like from here? 
Like yeah, you, you go right down like the road, uh, you'll see. Caliga Hall. It's like as far as the eye can see of tobacco fields. That's right. <clears throat> it's certainly a lot. Get lost out in them fields. Um, the telegram boy was waiting for me earlier. I'm gonna go check that. I'll be right back. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, sure. Hey, don't pal. Do you have uh, one of those print cigarettes, Eleanor? I've been trying. I'm supposed to be meeting with this uh, bearded Lydia blood. Okay. But she said she had a tailoring appointment, so. I don't know if this telegram is from her or not. Got it. Just keeping an eye on it. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Fill my water can team while I'm here. All right. <laughs> Let's see this is from Okay. All right. Come on, lady. Okay. She's just there. Uh, she's trying to get all the bartenders together to, um, I see. Get the kitchen arranged. Chat about the, yeah, the oh, kitchen apartment. Right. Take your time. F H.
Willow's out. Bye. See. Stuck in the hospital? Or? All he said is he's around. Bye. I told him we'd be here for a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> hey, yesterday I could barely get anything out of him. I was going to bring him into Annisburg because that's what the Mizio was saying, but he was fucking wheezing and goggling and shit, yeah, and I didn't know what the fuck was wrong. If Probably made the right decision. Yeah. But yeah, I just figured if y'all went to Annisburg that uh, I'd just send a telegram later on. Mm-hmm. If y'all didn't figure it out already, but... I don't know how we beat you there. Uh, I I was not riding fast at all. Oh, okay. How, how did we not ride past you? Uh, I don't know. I guess just whatever way Anisberg, you went. Did you uh, I, you cut I, through Rono? Uh, I cut through Rono. Oh, that's why. I also cut the trail several times because yeah. I knew that I wasn't going very fast in the... Uh, Every time he woke up, he would just fucking, like, goggle and shit and then mm. pass back out, so. I was fucking surprised he didn't die on the way. It sounded awful as shit. I'm glad he's alive, but. Yeah. yeah. I, gee, I wasn't going to be shocked. Yeah, he went down when you did. Did he? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We should have stuck on the left there, but yeah. that's fine. Yeah, the it is what it was, is. Uh, that, 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 we'll, we'll talk about it wasn't it a great later. choice, but yeah, we'll yeah talk about it's it fine. Later. Live and learn. Welcome back. Welcome back. Yo. Thank you. I appreciate that. What about you, Camille? What's been uh, new in your life? Um, what was the last thing I told you? Because depending on the last thing I told you, a lot, or it could be little. I'm gonna be honest, I got no clue. Um, got kidnapped once. Oh, by It was an ordeal. Um, just... By this random gang, I guess. Mm. I don't know. They wanted two thousand dollars for me or something. What? Who would I ask it for? They wouldn't ask Kitty for two grand, would they? Um, no. It was. They took me out to the oil fields. Mm -hmm. And they had like they had three. Hostages, including myself, but oh, they were asking law. They let one go. Yeah, they were asking law. Oh. Three hostages, not all. Yeah, that's next a, thing I know, I went in a doctor's idea. office with uh, a throbbing headache, and next thing I, I know, I gotta change some bandages every day. Mm. So they said I got struck in the head with a hammer. With a hammer. Christ. It's horrible. It's already here. It was a little bit ago, but... I don't know, I come each and every day with a different feeling about that. Mm. Sometimes I'm angry, sometimes I'm at peace with it. It's... It's a big thing. Uh, certainly something that uh, can be impactful on one's life. Well done. <clears throat> Anything good? Um, what else? How's it? Oh, have you heard that? There is a fashion contest the next 
Friday. No, this one, the, the Friday after. I have heard about that. I'm actually hoping to speak with Miss Lydia about it. Uh, I may oh, be really? sponsoring. Oh, I might probably I know get she was... be a, mo a model. Oh, good for no? you. Mm -hmm. You definitely should. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, I was uh, well, I'm up so early today. I was supposed to have a meeting with her, but uh, she had a tailor an appointment. I see. Yeah, she she seems to be very busy as of late. Last time I talked was talking to her, she said she at least had four outfits she needed to make for people. Wow, well, that's good there. Business has been good for her, it seems, and I'm happy to hear that she's doing well. Do she seems pleasant enough. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's like they always say, squeaky wheel gets the mm -hmm. oil. Close mouth don't get fat. Seems like she's been doing a lot of work for herself and uh, getting rewarded for it. Yeah, exactly. But honestly, everything else is just little things here and there. And went to a fashion contest, like a Halloween contest. That was your thing, actually. Yeah, I was gonna say. And I was gonna say. <clears throat> One that was overall pretty fun. I always, Thank always you. enjoy those at the Corrigan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was, uh, it was unfortunate everything going on in the city that night. We weren't able to uh, get a bigger crowd with all the dust, but uh, hopefully, uh, I don't know if we're going to be open tomorrow. I mean, I'll be around, so I don't know if we're going to have the club open. You will not open the the again tomorrow, you say? Yeah, I don't think so. I don't oh. think I'm gonna be around. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, that's fine. This happens. Yeah, next next week might be difficult too. Be coming back from a trip on Thursday next week. <clears throat> we'll see. We'll see. Nobody can open it for you. Ah, uh, there's a lot more that goes into it than um, I'm just having somebody who can open it up for me. That's fair. Well, honestly, even if like not as many people showed up, I still think it was pretty nice, at least for me, because I got to not meet some nice people and got to see some old faces. Yeah, the Corrigan's a good time. It's a little bit of work, but it's a good time. It's worth the work. I was going to say, it was a, seemed like a tall order for you that night. Or not, I don't know about tall order, but just more active than some others. How do you figure that? Because I think everyone, some people were manning the bar, and I think you were doing a bit of... Guarding work, like security work, and playing the piano too. Yeah, yeah, I do. I tend to feel in for security, but I also like to man the piano. I like when there's music in the club. It's nothing worse than a empty quiet club. <clears throat> Robs the laugh from the place. What's that? It really does. Oh, we were talking about the piano on the corgan. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the piano's good. Yeah, was very good. Oh, yeah, I was just telling her that uh, it keeps the club lively. It certainly does. I think uh, we're going to have to do uh, another comedy night soon. We haven't done one of them in a long time. Oh, you said comedy? Yeah. <gasps> that would be amazing. Mm-hmm. I would have seen that. Usually I'm the only one who's telling jokes, but... <laughs> oh, it is what it is. You? Well, you don't think I'm a funny guy? Prove it. Prove it. <laughs> I was right. going to say, I don't think I've ever heard you say a joke. Yeah. <clears throat> well, let's see. You want to hear about uh, my buddy who uh, worked in construction back in New York? Or you want to hear about my friend, the Bulgarian? The Bulgarian. Bulgarian, okay. The Bulgarian. <laughs> so, New York, there's all kinds of people that live there, right? Come yeah. from all over the world. 
<clears throat> now, there's one friend that I had. He, uh, Jesus Christ, how the fuck is he walking? <laughs> um, they doing well. For sure. Hey, ladies, uh, get this, get this man a drink, whatever he wants. I'll pay for it. But uh, yeah, my friend, the Bulgarian. He uh, he he grew up in Bulgaria, born and raised, and uh, since he was a little kid, all he ever wanted to do was drive the trains around, right? I saw him as a kid and was inspired. Never wanted to do anything else in his life. So he goes through uh, goes through school and all, and uh, you know studies real hard, uh, passes all the tests, and eventually, by the time he's uh, he's done with school. He starts to work for the train company and uh, he gets a job driving the trains around, right? Very happy about it. Mm -hmm. So, he does good for, uh, you know, a couple of years, right? He's really enjoying his job. Life is good. He's got a lot of friends. And uh, one night he goes out with his friends and he decides they're going to make it a late night, right? And drinking a lot, to, uh, you know, getting real banged up. And... Uh, my friend, the Bulgarian, he's got the real early train ride he's got to do tomorrow, you know, the next day. But, uh, you know, he, he thinks he'll be all right, right? So he has a good time with his friends. He manages to wake up early in time to, to get to work and all. And, uh, you know, he gets to work on a train. And uh, since it's so early in the morning, there's only one person on the train. And uh, my friend, he comes in the next morning. He's real fucked up still, right? You know, just way too drunk. He should not be working. But, uh, you know, he's got to do his job. So he goes in, he, he starts a train and, uh, you know, goes on a route along the tracks. And uh, eventually, because he's so drunk, he causes a mistake and the train crashes. And the one person that was on the train dies. Horrible. Real horrible right. tragedy. And uh, in Bulgaria, if you kill somebody on a job when you're working the trains, you get the death penalty. Oh. So they bring him in, right? And uh, they're going to hook him up to the electric chair. So, of course, when you're on death row, you're allowed to have a last meal, right? So, they ask him what he wants for his last meal. He says, I want one banana. <laughs> so, they was like, okay, that's a little bit of a weird request for a last meal. But, uh, you know, they go get him a banana and uh, he eats a banana. And then they hook him up to the chair and they flick the switch. And by a miracle, somehow, my friend, he lives. He survived the electric chair. What? Everybody's in shock, right? So, in Bulgaria, it's also a law that if you survive the death penalty somehow, your you sentence is... Five. I don't know. It's a miracle, like I said. Yeah. He, uh, you know, you if you manage to survive a death penalty, you've technically served your sentence and you're allowed to go free. So wow. they have to let him go. Don't ask it's me how he managed... Yeah, he really is. He really is. And don't ask me how he managed to pull this off, but uh, somehow he gets his job back working for the train company, right? And, you know, he goes about another year, wow. does good. Uh, you know, he's driving the trains around, and sure enough, he goes out another night one time and uh, has too much to drink. Goes into work the next morning, and this time there's two people on the train. And he gets up, he's drunk, driving a train, and no it causes no. another crash, right? No. This time both people on the train die. He does right? not love. Kills two people. It's horrible. It's and uh, so they got to bring him back in, right? And they ask him what he wants for his last meal. He says two bananas. So they still very confusing. They get him his two bananas. He eats them. They hook him up to the chair. They flick the switch. He survives again, right? Oh my God. So, <laughs> unbelievable. Uh, what are the odds? How does right? he do it? I, I don't know. I don't know. So, of course, they got to let him go again. Now... I think the real uh, mystery to this whole story is how the fuck he got his job back a third time. Because the hiring manager must have been a drunkard or two or something. Because right? uh, <laughs> nobody in the right mind would hire a guy after he kills three guys driving a train around, right? But this, somehow he gets a job back. And this time it don't even take like a month, right? He gets drunk again, mm. has oh. a train ride the next morning. There, there's three people on a train this time, kills oh. them all. Horrible. So they bring him in. Everybody's all frustrated at this point now. They're like, what the fuck are we doing here, right? And the, and just so, him. Exactly. Him. So, so the executioner, he goes, you know what? You're not getting your three bananas for your last yeah, meal. You, you deserve to just go straight to the chair. So they hook him up to the chair with no, no last meal. Mm -hmm. They hook him up. They flick the switch. He survives a third no. time. 
unbelievable. Now everybody's all wow. confused, right? Because they thought it had something to do with the bananas for how many people he killed, right? You know, it was the only only weird thing that could make any sense. Yeah. So the, the executioner is all confused. You know, we thought it was the bananas that uh, you were somehow using to, to survive the electric chair. And my friend, the Bulgarian, he goes, oh, no, no, I'm just a bad conductor. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's, that's very funny. Very funny. Yeah. I agree. <laughs> Good joke. <laughs> that's just. <laughs> that's all. That's awful. <laughs> it's my friend. <laughs> Your friend, the Bulgarian. Mm-hmm. Moved back to New York after that. He ain't driving trains no more. Finally, he decided it was time for a change. <laughs> what did he change to? He's an electrician. <laughs> oh, my God. Sounds like the perfect job for him. Yeah, perfect job. <laughs> oh, it's so good. I just bad came up with that on the spot. A bad conductor. Yep. You get it? Because he's, cause he's a train conductor, Eleanor. You get it? Uh, yeah, <laughs> and he conducts yeah, the electricity, it. yeah. Very funny, very funny. <laughs> I agree. I do have a joke as well, but I think I've already told you the joke, I'm not sure. Okay. I said that to every Italian that I met. Hang on, wait, wait, what did you say? I said, I say, I say this joke to every Italian I met. Okay. What is Italian without hands? What is an Italian without hands? Yeah. Hmm. What? A mute. <laughs> it's not bad. It's not bad. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, I've never heard that one actually before. Yeah, you can keep it now. There you go. <laughs> well, if you're going to come to a uh, comedy night that we do one time, you better save up a few of those. Everybody's, uh, it's meant for everybody to be sharing any jokes that they got. Oh, I don't find myself very funny. I just know this joke. But your joke is very funny, though. Oh, you don't got to tell me. I was wondering where I was going to go <laughs> for the longest time, but that was a good payoff. I really got to show up. Yeah, <laughs> me too. <clears throat> Will, did you get some of the drink? No, uh, we were listening to your stories. Yeah, yeah. Right, what do you want? What would you like to drink, sir? Actually, I would like a stool rather than a drink, but yeah, yeah, give me some whiskey. Yeah, can I get a stool, please, to come here? Of course. Thank you, sweetheart. A whiskey and stew and a whiskey. Any particular kind of whiskey for either of you? I don't give a shit. Yeah, I'm just getting the stool. All right. There you go, sir. Don't pay for it, Will. I got you. All right. Mm -hmm. And here is your stew. Thank you. Of course. Where do you normally hold these comedy nights? At the Corrigan. Oh, nice. <sighs> yeah, we, uh, we haven't done one in a long time. Probably been, uh, fuck, only close to four months now. Maybe three, four months since we last did one. Um, it's been a long time. Yeah, it has been a while. But, uh, you know, we've, uh, we usually only do them every once in a while at the club. We've done, 
we've done a comedy competition before called uh, War of Wits, uh, where it's uh, four contestants and they are competing to, uh, in front of a panel of judges and an audience to uh, see who is the king of comedy. Funniest motherfucker in all the land. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Who's the wittiest? Who's the funniest? That one we did, oh boy, it's, we're getting close to almost a year ago now since we first did that. We haven't done one since, but it was a good time, I tell you. <clears throat> you got different um, different rounds that are uh, that work differently, so that uh, you know there's all kinds of different uh, platforms to present your humor in. Like I think one one round we did was uh, a, a roast battle, <laughs> where it was two, it was one on one, and we did two of them, and the contestants just fucking shit on each other it was hilarious <laughs> those are always funny yeah, that was it was very funny then there was um story time you know like kind of what like what i just did um and then there is um we were giving them prompts uh, the first and last round were the same where they get prompts and uh they had to come up with um a funny uh a funny response to the prompt that they were given. Remind me what they were. Or give me an example of what I don't remember. And then after the four rounds, uh, the panel of judges take in the, uh, the audience uh, laughter levels uh, into account, as well as what they thought in their own opinions, and determine the winner. A really good time. Now that I think about it, I think only one of the contestants is still around in the crossing. From last time. But I, and we've never seen that. Yeah. Uh, one example of uh, one of the prompts would be like, um, what are the what could be a something that you would never say to a Sisica guard, right? And then they had to come up with something uh, with a response to that. That was funny. <clears throat> it's kind of like an example. I don't know, it's very, I've never seen that, so it's very difficult for me to imagine. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the only one who's still around that took part was actually the winner, Andy Cabbage. He's still around from time to time. W where is he? Andy Cabbage? Cabbage? Yeah, Andy Cabbage, yeah. My what Lord. is that? It's a guy. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> yeah, Andy Cabbage is his name. He lives in Cabbage, Valentine. That's the name? Yeah, like the vegetable. This is actual name. That's his Cabbage. name. Mm -hmm. Andy Cabbage. Cabbage. Oh, poor guy. Uh, you, 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 if you ever meet Andy Cabbage, you won't forget him. <laughs> what does he look like? He's fat, he's balding, and uh, he declares himself the mayor of Valentine. He's going to... <sighs> Drain the swamp in Lemoyne, and uh, oh, he's going wow. to build a wall around Valentine and make Blackwater pay for it. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Yes. Yeah. It's like a Valentine. Yeah, I think yes, I know this. Yeah. I know this person. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if you met him before. Sounds before. like yeah. quite the person. Oh yeah, he's he's an interesting one. That's for sure. Uh, who are the other people? We had um, Dallas Longhorn competed. I don't know if you girls ever met him before. No. He might have been before your time. I don't think I have. Yeah, I haven't seen him around in months. He, he may be dead for all I fucking know. Um, then there was Ralph Harrison. And he went to... Uh, he moved down to South America to become a wizard. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. And then there was... A uh, Sal Parisi. He was a lawman. <laughs> a good guy. Uh, wizard and Luman. Huh? You you said he went to this house to be a wizard? Yeah, Ralph Harrison. He went. He moved down to South America to train to become a wizard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and he's a lawman now. No, no, his... he's not a lawman. Shao oh, Tarishi okay. is. Uh, he's not around anymore either. Oh, but he God. he he was a lawman. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah, it was quite the cast of characters. I got a few guys that we could go with again, but it'd be hard to be hard to match some of the some of the uh, talent level that was on the stage that day. 
Ralphie's awkward gun throw, yeah. <laughs> I think Dallas Longhorn just kept making jokes about <laughs> about the priests having fucking relationships with children. <laughs> oh my gosh. It was fucking horrible. It is. <laughs> but yeah, nobody I, I can stop it. laughing. <laughs> it's horrible. It's horrible. It's, it's horrible things, you know. <laughs> yeah. Disgusting. <laughs> Beef and Andy, yeah. <clears throat> it was very funny, too, because at the time, Dallas Longhorn and his family were in a conflict with um, Andy Cabbage. He, he, was, he was close with the people that run the bathhouse in Valentine. And uh, they, they were kind of at odds at the time of the, the show. And so we put them against each other in the, in the, the roast battle. <laughs> and uh, oh, yeah, it, it, it was, that was outstanding. That was the highlight of the night, for sure. <laughs> I've never heard anybody come up with such creative insults to throw at one another. <laughs> and the random to do it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That oh, was perfect. He couldn't script it any better. <laughs> oh, man. <clears throat> All right. Well, the Telegram boy's waving for me again. So I should probably get going here. It was wonderful catching up with you girls. Yeah, well, um, I would go to bed as well. I'm very tired. But it was nice seeing you, Mr. Palitio. Likewise, as always. All right. Still take it easy, fine? Yeah, you too. You take care. You too. How are you doing, sweetheart? Come here. I will go to, to bed now. Hey, good night. Good day. Yeah. Oh, hello. Are you holding up, Will? Yeah, I'm a little better than last night. That's good. Not allowed to uh, hold a long arm for a while. Where'd they get you? Shoulder and a lot of places. Mm. You come on a horse? Yeah, it's over here. All right. We'll just go back to the city. I'll check my telegrams down there. Sure. Don. I think that might have been one of the guys that uh, had them fucking masks on earlier. They were weird fuckers. Yeah. His outfit looked it's like it matched just without the head, the helmet or whatever. Favorite pasta? Yeah, uh, ooh, I'm inclined to say linguine. I think I'm gonna go with linguine. Linguini or elbows? It's all fucking good. Penne's up there too for me. Linguini or taggy? I don't know what taggy is. Linguini with shrimp? Oh my fucking god. If you get it right. Oh, Tagliatelle. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't eat that too much. You don't know how to spell it.
I, I would assume that there's probably uh, an I instead of a E there. Like melted cheese. Yeah, I can't do that because I can't eat cheese, but linguine with like a lemon, rosemary, oh, shrimp. Oh my god. Garlic. Oh, really fucking good. It's so much better than, than doing it with, like, fucking angel hair or spaghetti. Linguini is the best pasta to go with shrimp. It's good for, um, like, a bolognese, too. Lydia, how are you, sweetheart? Oh, Miss Valeri. How's it going? <clears throat> good, good. I was, I was wondering if you'd still be free. Yeah, um, yeah. I got some time. Was that? Uh, did you send me a telegram a couple minutes ago? I didn't know. Okay, let me. I was uh, just let... um, coming here anyway, so I was gonna see if I bump into you. Gotcha. Yeah, let me uh, let me see what I got the telegram about, then uh, we'll yeah, have yeah. a chat. Okay. All right. Like to head up to the base deal? Um, I'm waiting around here for someone that I'm meeting. Um, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's 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 been a lot today. It's been all a lot of things all happening at once. Yeah, I heard that at the parlor yeah. house. You've been very busy. It's a good thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, no, I was just um <laughs> wondering if like so. You know, I'm gonna do this fashion show. It's mm -hmm. gonna have I have models that are gonna um, showcase and model my my new designs. Right. And I have um, a few people who have don't have have given sponsorship money, and I'm going to plug them. I'm gonna thank them, and and talk about the business. So, but the, you could do that yet if you wanted to, or you could do. Um, I'm also going to have the audience can take part in a best dress competition. Oh. Mm. And first prize probably be a cash prize or something, but I thought it might be interesting to have two different types of prizes. I was wondering if you wanted to offer like, um, I don't know, like, you know, table for two or something at the best or something like mm. that is like a prize. Okay. Yeah, we could do that. Okay. Yeah, yeah, that would be that would be perfect. Yeah. And uh, you have my telegram, so they can just reach out to uh to me. You know, uh, okay. whoever wins, you can just uh, give my telegram. That's brilliant. That's amazing. So um yeah, I can say that like a table, um like a meal and some drinks yeah. for two or something. Mm-hmm. Perfect. Oh, thank you so much, Miss Valetti. Yeah, of course. And when is the when is the competition happening? It is um next Friday, um at five p.m. Eastern. It's in the theater. It's right. um a hundred dollars for a ticket, and fifty more dollars if you want to join the competition. I or you see. can just go and watch the 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 new show, the designs. Gotcha, gotcha. <clears throat> and yeah, and yeah. to watch, that's a uh, hundred dollars, right? Yeah, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, um, yeah, I'll see if I can make it. Okay. Well, telegram me if you if you'd like a ticket. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I'll keep that in mind. It's a little bit early for me, but uh, Fridays I, I might be able to make it. Back. Okay. Uh, well, thank you very much, Mr. Valet. I'm so glad that um that I bumped into you. Yeah, sure thing. And um, just uh, myself. whoever does win. You know, once you have a winner, just send me a telegram as well. Or just inform me of who it is that I should be expecting to hear from. I will, yeah, yeah. And no, of course, I'll, I'll big up the, the best deal as well. You know. Wonderful. Yeah, I yeah. appreciate that very much. Perfect. <clears throat> okay. It'd be lovely to see you there ever, Miss Valetti. Likewise. Likewise. You take it easy, sweetheart. Yeah, yeah. All right. Ciao, right. ciao.
Uh, she's still got her five o'clock shadow. <laughs> All right. Um, let's go up to the bar. What's going on? That was faster than I thought. Yeah. Right, as long as it's uh, handled, it's all that matters. Mm hmm. <clears throat> so, um, how much, uh, how much you guys remember from last night? You probably don't remember much. No, I don't remember much. I remember saying we're gonna go right, and then... It's a bit scattered from there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we went up to the Poppy Fields. Got into it pretty good. They shot us up pretty bad. <clears throat> but it was a pretty long fight. But uh, I think we learned a lot from that one. I think we learned a lot more so than the last time, too. It's all about the aggression, fellas. <clears throat> What can we do to put ourselves in a better position? How can we catch them off guard? How do we work as a unified front to catch them off guard? In particular, is uh, the crux. Well, you'll have to let me know what happened after I went down. Yeah, you know that ridge that Jackie and the Mitchell were on? Yeah, uh, yeah the one I pointed out. We, yeah, we held out there for a real oh. long time. Maybe like 20 minutes. Yeah, okay, it's a good spot. It felt like 20 minutes at least. Um, may not have been that long. But uh, yeah, we held out there for a while. And they tried pushing us. Didn't really have much luck. They had two guys wrap around the back. Behind, all the way around behind. Demetrio spotted them. And uh, he ran them off. You know, they got spooked because he saw them so quickly. And, uh... Sure. I figured that the, they would have you know, been a little bit slower about their retreat. So, seeing the opportunity to potentially even the playing field, I decided to have us uh, go down the back side of the ridge to track them down, try and light them up, and they weren't there. So, we had to abandon the ridge and fell all the way back toward the ranger tower. And from there, it was... Uh, <clears throat> you were running downhill. Yeah, I mean, well, they took a while to catch back up to us because it's a long way. So we had some yeah, time to pay for them coming back after us. And we held out there for a little bit. And then they really were able to push it because it was kind of only one way you could really run. 
So, you know, they pushed it hard there. Howdy. Have a pleasant day. Yeah, take it easy. I recognize that voice. But, um, yeah, they, were, they, uh, they, they pushed this in the Ranger Tower. We, uh, we got pushed out of there, so we went back down, tried to wrap all the way back around the way we came up originally on our horses up the hill. <clears throat> and they, they sniffed us out, caught us there, and fucking let us up with the pump. What are we doing, boys? Really uh, fearless. Can I yeah. get you something? Not too uh, shabby. I would not complain. Sure. What's, uh... <clears throat> what's your taste? Hmm... My friend in the yellow vest with like a weak beer. Absolutely. Uh, what the fuck? <laughs> Scotch whiskey, please. <laughs> of course, my friend. In a bottle <laughs> of glass. You sure you don't want the Irish? <laughs> oh no, definitely Scotch. <laughs> you you are nursing a wooden son. A wooden son. I need to ration your liquor. A bottle, what else can please. I get? A bottle. Can I get a, uh, yeah. a, I get a Tennessee whiskey? Beer. Absolutely. A bottle of beer, you say, my friend? Weak beer for the yellow yellow vest. Oh, okay, I see, I see. And what can I get you, sir? Oh, you know what? I'm feeling, uh, I'm kind of missing guarma, so give me some rum. Yeah, I had a trip go. Right. Splendid, actually. Uh... And uh, anything for you over there, my fellow on the rock? Right? Yeah, I'll take a scotch. <laughs> okay, sounds good. Ah, it was a good bit of fun. Uh, He's a set, Levi, eh? Gave us a chance to uh, let the heat go and, uh, mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. know, joking for it. kicked all of their cunts in several times. You know how it goes. There you go. There you go. <clears throat> Nothing like a bit of a boxing match on the side of a, a cliff's edge, you know? <laughs> I do like that arena. A good I spot. do too. I do too. Mm -hmm. How are you doing? How's business? How's life? <clears throat> Uh-oh. Uh, you're quite alright. I got a couple licks yesterday. Okay, now. You'll love it at large. <laughs> yeah, I suppose so. Thank you, Charlie. Who's doing the licking? Of course. And the folks you saw at the telegrams yesterday. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Band of jolly men. Indeed. So that's uh, an ongoing endeavor, I see. It certainly is. <clears throat> I'm assuming not all too well. Well, there's your scotch and your white oh, beer. I'd man. be lying if I said, uh, <laughs> of course, we got the better of them. But I heard Nathan's in a pretty bad way. What did that all start over anyway? I swear you were on good terms once upon a time. I thought I told you about this. It's uh You probably did, but the amount of people that tell me things, Bar yeah. Lady, it's Remember the, when the Golden Hounds came into Saint Denis? They start a fucking massive shootout with the law appreciate you. on the night we had the Corrigan Club open. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're they're all poly poly and they mm -hmm. and then they waited a long time to Yep. Yeah, it's coming back to me now. <clears throat> But, uh, for nothing less. Shows I ain't, uh, shows I got a pair of fucking balls when I take my boys right down into the heart of Van Horn to go say hello to them. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I've done that. It's, it's always a bottle of laughs. But, uh, yeah, we move on, we learn. Get better. They didn't hit nowhere in port. <clears throat> you know, still breathing. It's all that matters. Mm -hmm. What have you guys been up to today? Uh, we went up in Colta, did a bit of hunting, played a bit of poker with some friends. Um, what else have we done? Staked out a couple jobs. Oh, that's something brewing? A uh, couple. We've oh, got a boy. fucking page worth brewing. We actually have to write it down so we don't fucking forget all the ideas we've got. Um, just trying to... Don't let nobody find a book, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I skipper was safe. 
<laughs> At least I think so. It's the hope. Yeah, you'd hope. Although, Douglas, you got a spare pocket, don't you? you could keep yeah, me you know, I did spend a couple of years, uh, you know, looking, getting a Sissica wallet on the go. I might as well get it there. Christ. <laughs> you got a book shoved up your ass? <laughs> I could have a fucking library up there, mate. Man, uh... It ain't up there yet, but you never know. <laughs> I don't think I ever do. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's the hard covers I really struggle with, but I'll make it work. Yeah, I wonder why. <laughs> but no, uh, Carlo, other than your recent trouble, everything else has been peaceful. Yeah, I hope. Can't complain, you know? That's good <clears> to hear. Yeah, you know, these fellas here, and if I know you already, I apologize in advance. Well, that's quite all right. Channel. I didn't introduce myself. Uh, my name is Aiden Breen. Aiden, what about uh, Long yes, Hair Fella? Willow the Rosa. <clears throat> what? Willow the Rosa. The Rosa, you say? Yeah, it's his last name, yeah. I never caught the first. Well. Will De Rosa. Good to meet you, Will. Yeah, Will Willow. He goes by either one. Let's see, these, uh. As far as I'm concerned, you can call me Aiden, call me Breen, call me how you should head over there. I'll answer all of them. <laughs> you can't promise you ain't going to take offense, though. <laughs> I can't blame him, now. <laughs> it wouldn't be the first time. <clears throat> Better not hang around me too long, man. Nah. <laughs> the wisest decision you ever made. <laughs> this uh, new friend you got with you, Douglas? <laughs> Fell in the yellow. Oh, this is uh, this is uh, my son. Introduce yourself, son. Oh, man, I'm Peter. I think we may have met yeah, before. Yeah, yeah, maybe a while back. Yeah, I think I do remember right. you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He's not actually my son, but, uh, you know, we jest, we jest. Right, right. I yeah. pumped a lot of women in Glasgow 20 years ago. It's possible. It's possible. And it could you be, uh, could have 50 brothers there, Peter. Uh, <laughs> and 50 sisters. Yeah, maybe. Right. That's the real reason I ran away over to the other side of the sea, you know, fucking. I'm lucky. Maybe I haven't heard down by the bay, my mamas. I ain't had, uh, I ain't heard nothing from New York yet. <laughs> well, just you wait, Carlo. I we'll hope we keep it that way. I'll come from <laughs> down on you at one point. Right on. <laughs> See, when you speak about these things, they come into existence. It's no good. <laughs> Make a good yeah, point. Yeah, I was it, like. making jokes and Peter turned up on my door demanding 20 years of child support. Yeah, so you there know. you go. That's how, it, that's how it goes. It's the fuck I'm like. You know, I think he got it, didn't he? Saturday night. Uh, that's just, well, maybe not 20 years. I'm still waiting for, on the... Uh, well, how much were you expecting a fucking year? Jesus yeah, Christ. Uh, Listen, son, I gave you three Listen, and a half grand pocket money. Hug. Why, why are you complaining? A hug Listen, a expenses are climbing these days. I'd have to agree. Fucking outrageous. <laughs> I'm fucking... Listen, I might have paid more if his mum had done a good job, but he's a wee fucking rascal, so... <laughs> <clears throat> nah, she did what she could, but there's no team in this. Yeah, I was one of them. Yeah, I was anyway, going to say, it runs in the family. <laughs> you know, I joke about it, but the more I spend time with him, he might actually be mine. <laughs> Wouldn't surprise me. Well, statistically, it is possible. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you fellas uh, winding down for the night? You got anything else planned? Uh, we have some discussions to have and some other minor things to do, but uh, we were in the city. Thought we'd pop in and say hello. Mm. Yeah, always good to uh, always good to see you guys. Yeah, well, it's my pleasure to meet new faces. Always, always yep. pleasure. Well, I'm sorry you had to see this old shriveled cunt, but, uh... <laughs> oh, it's okay. Just tip me, Will, every time you come in, and uh, I'll be all right. Yeah, we, you don't discriminate as long as you got money. <laughs> It'll pay for my broken eyeglasses. 
Was that tip not enough? <laughs> no, it was. What did he give you? Uh, honey. Okay, yep. I would have made a lot of money just now. <laughs> you get yourself behind the bar more often, Carlo. No, 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 I would have made a lot of money betting be, on uh, how much he would have tipped lockdown. Aiden. <laughs> <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, that's that's just the standard these mm -hmm, days, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, we gotta bring back the uh, the old Irish tipper shot. Yeah, there you go. Make yeah. it a competition. We gotta bring There's that one back. Doug, Douglas right was at the top of the list back in the day for that one. <laughs> yeah, I'm surprised that idea didn't come out of my head already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no wonder you can't still all reset the list and I'll have to buy my top spot again. <laughs> well, times have changed, Douglas. Come on. Yeah, have, Douglas. Yeah. <laughs> I don't even remember how uh, how many people, you know, put in what they did on that list. You know, I uh, forget about these things. Point point real competitive, point right? mm -hmm, I, remember, mm -hmm. I remember mine very well. <clears throat> <clears throat> I can always refresh my memory with another one. <laughs> sure, why not? So that'd be the perfect way to do it, Carl. <clears throat> you know, look at me, fucking. I can, I can barely afford a new pair of pants, and uh, I'll give all my money to you, city boys. <laughs> Got a real never recovered since that game on a Corrigan, huh? <laughs> yeah, we need to get ourselves out. To the Corrigan every Thursday now. We never, we, I haven't attended for a couple months now. Yeah, yeah. It was, uh, it's been a packed, uh, packed house the last couple of times. Well, Halloween was a little bit weird because there was a lot of shit going on in town. I can so imagine. it got really dusty. But can, can you remind me what time you normally host it? Uh, 8 8 30. Eastern Stars, yeah. Right. I, I don't think we're going to be able to do it tomorrow, though, fellas. Um, ah, uh, that's I okay. Think I'm, I'm going to be, uh, cooped up in my office for a little what bit. About, uh, what about next week? Hopefully, hopefully, uh, I'll be returning I'll to that because yeah. I'll be attending if it's there. I'll be I'll be returning from a trip on Thursday, so depending on uh, how soon I get back, we'll be able to do it. Yeah, I understand. I understand. The problem is I'm not gonna be around Wednesday, and I send out all the fucking telegrams about uh, advertising for it Wednesday night. That's why you get one of your lackeys to do it. You know, uh, they don't got all the f they don't have thirty five pages of contacts in their address book like well, I. Why don't. don't you send it out early? As a reminder. I could. But the thing is, people around here, they got short-term memory loss, you know? <laughs> they see something on, on Sunday, they forget about it by Tuesday morning. Yeah, no, <clears> that, <throat> I can believe that. Believe me, I've fucking been doing this shit a long time. I know how people think. Yeah, they don't. Exactly. Me, me included. <laughs> I'd say you're top of the fucking list. Listen, I have 50 pages of telegrams. I'm even worse. Jeez. Like you said, 99% of them you fucking ignore and never <laughs> reach out to. I have my contacts are fucking dead at this point. I had to do a bit of a, a bit of a clean up recently. Yeah, cause... I'm due for one. I kind of like bragging about it though, you know. 35 pages. <laughs> Actually, I think it's almost up to 40 now. <clears throat> or too many to be so concerned no, no. about. I said, I better start talking to more people who can't let our lady catch up. Yeah, I'm coming at you. <laughs> All right, folks. Well, I think I got to go grab some dinner. That's right. We, uh, we're going to use your balcony for a minute. Yeah, yeah no right, worries. Carl? No worries. Perfect. Fellas, I'll, uh, I'll be back in half hour or so. Yeah, sure. Take your time. I'm going to go up to my apartment. So. Well, uh, we'll catch you gentlemen here in a minute. Yep, cha cha. All right. All right. So long, Carlo. I should have brought a coat. Yeah. Well, don't you don't keep an extra inside. It's probably in my safe. Huh? Right, I'll see you later, Will. Later, Mr. Barletti. I gotta hurry. Early dinner tonight. I like it. I like it, I like it.
All right, guys. I am. Uh, I'm gonna leave stream running, and I'll be back in like a uh, half hour, <laughs> probably but right before seven at least. Enjoy the music. I'll see everybody in a bit.
All righty. I'm back. Back and better than ever. Let's get the game booted back up. <laughs> <clears throat> okay, okay. What is going? Ooh, you know what I have to do? I fucked up the date on the, uh, the VOD yesterday on YouTube. I gotta fix that. Do, 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 do. Hmm. Swap this over. I'm gonna edit this. Eleven five, not eleven six. Errors are resolved. What errors? Okay. There we go. Okay. I should get back in the whip. <laughs> See who that's from. Horses up there. I don't see none. Today feels like it's gonna be a quiet day on Wild. I think that there's a lot going on yesterday. You don't let it. I think a lot of people had a lot of shit going on yesterday, us included, of course. <clears throat> Ravioli Dopio. Is it Dopio or Dopio? I'm gonna assume it's Dopio. No, I haven't. Mostly because I usually can't eat ravioli. Because 99% of the time it has cheese in it. 
Double stuff, take normal ravioli, then pinch the middle. Each side has different stuffing. I have seen that before. <clears throat> Cozy? I, I have seen that before, yeah. Lydia. Hmm. Well, we've seen all three Lydias today. The rare triple Lydia sighting. <laughs> See what we got on here. Anything good then? Oh, a classic. We could do this one. I don't. The problem is I don't know if I have any more cans of pineapples. I'll take it, and if I if I don't have any more, I will just fucking we'll, we'll trash the job. <clears throat> We'll get rid of it. Deployment. Okay. Oh man, you know what I'm getting the itch for? <laughs> There's nobody around. <laughs> I'm getting that fucking crap's itch right now. Ugh. God damn it. Why am I the way I am? <laughs> Let's go down to the, uh. We'll go back up to the bar. We'll see if anybody's there. And then. We'll turn in this fucking, uh. Mob One Punch job. What's this? Oh, that's one of Magpie's guys. Ah. I don't recognize them. Who's that? Is that Pippi? Who the fuck was that? Who the fuck is that guy? Damn, Douglas is still awake, huh? <clears throat> Damn it, who's taking my fucking hitching spot? What are they talking about up there, dude? What are they doing? It's like, uh... <laughs> you guys have ever seen Wedding Crashers? <laughs> Will Ferrell in Wedding Crashers. It's tremendous. He's talking, he lives with his mom. It's like, what is she even doing up there? What could she possibly be doing? <laughs> Anything interesting? Not really. Alright. I'm gonna go see... Uh, uh, oh, go ahead. No, I was just gonna say, uh... Apparently, uh... uh there's, uh... Been more places where people have attacked, been attacked by cougars in the 20s. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, I think I heard about that, actually. <clears throat> Alright. 
I'm gonna go saying? see uh see if I got any wild one punches I gotta put um behind a bar here. But I'm not gonna join. Alright. Better than doing nothing. Mm hmm And there's a good chance I go gamble. Yeah, that horse. fucking turns out. The way my luck's fucking been probably not good. You need to have one? If my horse. Oh, there it is. I didn't get all the way fucking way over there. Is that a new horse? Uh, I wouldn't call it new, but uh, oh, yeah, probably different from... Yeah, I was yeah. gonna say, I don't think I've ever seen you on a Mustang. Good choice. <clears throat> I forgot the full uh, the horse's full name, but uh, I heard they nicknamed it Anaya. Anaya. It's not a bad name. Does it mean anything? Um, the full name uh, means. Uh, Fearless. Fearless. Along the lines of uh, Fearless, yeah. Sure. It, uh, I believe uh, her name directly translates to She Stumps Wolves. Oh. Yeah, and it's pretty fearless. Yeah. Ah, I hope I got enough of these fucking things. <laughs> terrible there's no uh storage uh companies that's an interesting thought the problem is there'd have to be a lot of trust yep when it comes to that and you have to be available like whenever the fuck people want you to <clears throat> Tell me there's some in here. Please. Perfect. <clears throat> yeah, well, can I reach out? Need you to hold on to something for me. Yeah, sure. How does a business like a gun store survive? Uh, they do what Adam does, basically. They flip guns. And, like, some people do work on guns. Like, some people don't, uh... <clears throat> don't have the patience to do it themselves. Like, when Taipan was doing it, they, uh... I will right, we'll go back to the bar. Um, when Taipan was doing it, they did a lot of gems, too. They were really, really big in the gem business. You can honestly... Like, we make fucking gambling work. Like, mm. you can make anything work as long as... You put in enough effort... On a roleplay server. And I mean that. You can make fucking cigarettes work if, uh... Like, you actually worked hard enough at it. Probably wouldn't make as much money doing that, because cigarettes 
aren't worth that much, but. was eight, right? Yeah. But I mean, what a lot of gun stores will do is they'll, they'll buy fucking stolen guns. Maybe they'll do work so on them to make them different. Uh, take down. Huh? How many of them did uh, we take down yesterday? Hmm. Come on. Uh, what? Yep. One of them uh, collapsed and they had to rush to a doctor uh, at the end, but uh, he didn't fall during the fight. Designer gun series? Yeah, that's what Taipan did. They'd have like the Taipan series or something. They had like uh, like 20 something guns that they, they did a ton of work on. And um, we, we actually have one. I think Adam still has one. It's not the the greatest looking. <laughs> it's all like emerald green. I thought it's kind of cool, but like I, I could see how it's not very appealing to a lot of people. Oh, what are you taking my spot? No. Yeah, they had like the, the Taipan set or series or something, line. Talk to Silverlight and get gun bulk oil for cheap. Yeah, Carlo doesn't like the people at Silverlight. <laughs> so. <laughs> Alright, let me get that, uh, let me get that stuff back. Carla's not the biggest fan of theirs. Wait, which one was it? Ah, uh, not that one. It's fucking Santa Claus! Mark, thank you for the follow. Alright. It's interesting, there's not a lot of people around yet. I guess it's early. Is it really early? What time and is it? It ain't even seven yet. Seven deadly sins, seven saintly viruses. How's the RP been tonight? It's been, um, it's been relaxed. Yesterday was a really, really fucking crazy day for us, so. Virtues. <laughs> Alright, fuck it. I'm gonna gamble. Swing by the bank. <laughs> Uh this could make or break my day, Will. Well, make or maybe break you could my teach day. Me, uh, teach me how to uh, yeah, you uh, gamble. You want to learn yeah, crafts? Why not? All right. I don't know. Whatever, whatever we're fucking playing, teach me how to fucking do it. Yeah, well, we're going to gamble. We're going to play crafts. <clears throat> what is crafts, anyway? Are you about to get an education? Well, how much you uh, should I uh, pull out? <laughs> how much you got? <laughs> 200 total? <laughs> yeah. Mm, bring like... $100. Nah, bring 50. Bring 50. Bring 50. Day is the day to play the dark side? Dude, I can't fucking do that, man. I, You want to play Don't Pass? Don't Pass in Field Bets? Like, is, <laughs> is that the play? Fuck, dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. How's it going, bro? Don't be fucking kidding me. What? It's like you sniff out when I want to gamble. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I just woke up. Yeah, it's like you've been running errands. Like you've been fucking summoned. 
What errands? What kind of errands are you running? How can you uh, just wake up but also be on errands? Burn ammunition, burn bandages. Well, I'm going to play craps. You know. <clears throat> A little bit. All right. Aiden is should be back there? around a bit. What do you mean, is that it? Is that it? Are you playing crops? Yeah. Who's played crops? This guy's got a fucking <laughs> sixth sense for it, huh? <laughs> Somebody says crops, I'm here. Yeah, we're going down to the boat, Douglas. I need to grab money. What is crepes anyway? A game. <laughs> Such an ape description, Carlo. <laughs> uh, it's hard to explain. It's uh, it's all about the roll of the dice. It's easy to explain when you can see the board. Dark side strat is to also place combats. And maybe some field and then play some hard ways that the point is on it. Oh man. I ain't got the fucking patience for that shit. That'll make me lose my mind, dude. Hmm? I want to run a, uh, an idea by you later. Okay. You should send your later. horse off so people don't know we're here. Oh, alright. Yeah, when you leave the horses, it's like, uh... Rob me! Rob me! Open invitation, yeah. Mm -hmm. Now, I've already had the worst start to it that imaginable. What the fuck happened? Yeah, my horse was stuck on a balcony. <laughs> Luckily, somehow it flopped over. Landed on some poor local, but we don't talk about that. Hmm. <clears throat> uh, swallow playing perhaps as well. Yeah, we're gonna teach him. Great. All right, Willow. Well, uh, you want to put all your money on the horn, but all right. He's only playing with fifty dollars, so. <laughs> All right. On the what? Okay. Tell me when you're uh, when you're when you're good to go. Good to go. Okay. So I, I just uh, don't don't bet anything for now. But most of the time, what you're gonna do is uh, you see the pass line there <clears throat> on the bottom of uh, the two squares. Yeah. So that's. Usually, okay, that's good. That's usually going to be your main bet, right? So, you see how there's an off chip up there at the top uh, top of the table? Yeah. So, that means that there's no point that's been set right now. So, the pass line, when you put money on a pass line, you are betting first that... If one of the numbers that you see, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 10, one of those numbers lands, that off chip will move to whatever number the dice roll. Let's see what we get here. 10. See? Now it's on on 10. See that? That's kind of shit. So, you are betting, when you bet on the pass line, that another 10 will roll before a 7. I'm blind smaller. Yeah, me too. <clears throat> so, pretty much right now, what we want is another 10. 
And uh, the other bets that you can place, if you see, um, I, I don't know if you can see my chips on the table, but you see where it's a uh, four, five, six, eight, nine, ten. You see the little tiny bar below each of those. Okay, okay. Um, oh, well, uh, <clears throat> if you take a step back, you'll be able to see your chips. Well, it'll be easier for him to take a closer look at the board. I, I, I'll get there. Yeah, a bit. I'm looking. I'm looking. So. The place bets are when you put a bet on any of those numbers and your chips stay there until a seven wipes the board clean once the point has been made. So when that on chip is there, that means that the, the point is on. So once the point is on, any chips that you put down on any of those four through ten, oh, that's really good. Okay. Um, you make money anytime it lands on those numbers. And your chips stay there. And you can always take them off whenever you want. But once a seven hits, you lose it. Okay? So now the point just got made. So I won my bet that I put on the pass line. Does that make sense? Because it rolled a ten before a seven rolled. Yeah. So seven is the highest odds roll you can get with two dice. Is that the, the most combinations make seven. So the further from seven you get the less likely the odds are. Now, when the point is off like that, and you have money on the pass line, you make money. Because it automatically passed. Does that kind of make sense? <clears throat> Yikes. Yeah, so there's no point to, to make. So 7 is effectively... 7 or 11 you make money on, straight up when the point is off, and you have money on the pass line. Now, you lose money if it's a 2, 3, uh, or 12. Okay, holy shit. <clears throat> Full send horn. <laughs> this fucking guy. Um, now, the don't pass line is, the op is basically the opposite of pass. You're betting that a 7 is going to roll before the point gets made. But it's counterintuitive if you want to put place bets down because you're bet basically betting against yourself. Now, if you see where the 2 is circled and then it's 3, 4, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh my lord, with the fucking 4s. Uh, that is a field bet. So you put money in there. Of course, the telegram boy's waving for me. Um, you put money in the field bet, and it's a one-time bet, where if it lands on any of those numbers, you make money. And your chips stay there until it doesn't land on one of those numbers, then it wipes away. <clears throat> so, typically what I like to do is... In this situation, I'm going to bet small, because the odds of a 4 rolling are very slim. So I'm only going to put... Uh, right now, I have my $25 that I put down on a pass line, and I have $10 on 6 and 8. Because 6 and 8 are the closest to 7, so the odds are the likeliest for them to be hit after a 7 and before all the other numbers. <clears throat> If, say, the point would be on a 6 or an 8, those odds are very good that the point will be made. So I would double down or, you know, I'd put more money down on my pass bet. <clears throat> and then I'd probably scatter the place bets. I usually would do $50 on 6, $50 on 8, 25 on 9, 25 on 5, and 10 on 4, and 10. So anytime it was landing on any of those numbers, I was making money. But I lose all of those chips that I set out on those numbers if a seven rolls. So it's that's the risk. The field is hard, but I wouldn't bet on it now. Yeah, just fucking jinxed it. Have you been betting on it? No. Hmm. <clears throat> Why wouldn't you bet on it now? Ah, stupid, superstitious. It's superstitious. Superstitious. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck, I'm gonna have to walk away to go see who this telegram's from. I should have just. I bet you it's Aiden, and I should have just fucking told him we'd be over here. It's 
superstitious. Yeah, exactly. Come on. There we go. There we go. It's good. How much do you have on Section 8 right now? I'm not saying a single word. Okay. Did you go big? Wow, he did. Okay. I have like 25. Oh, all right. That's not bad. I'm going to try this. Uh, don't, don't bet anything right now, Will. Wait till the point gets made or a seven rolls. Uh, start fresh. Start with a fresh slate. When the point's off. All right. Whose money is on the field? Not mine. I might as well put something on it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I yeah, did. I, I, I did. <laughs> I mean, that's something. He just won, yeah. Oh, fuck. I had money on fives. Uh, <clears throat> big six bet. I want to know what these, what the big six and big eight bets are. Is that just like a one-time place bet, you think, where you make more money? I have no idea. I gotta believe that's what it is. Let me look at the pamphlet this guy gives you. Yeah. Motherfucker. Now is making me mutter. I don't even fucking say. Hey, I don't think it does. Next point, I'll put some money on it. I'm just leaving the board alone. That's a moment. Yeah. Mmm, alright. I made money, though. I think I, I broke even. Oh, no, I lost, uh, I lost a little bit. Alright, well, so you're gonna bet on the pass line, so you'll probably only want to bet, like, $10 on the pass line. <clears throat> now, even if you're, uh, you're putting them down on the left side of the table, you'll see your chips over on the right side. It's the deal is oh, just right. moving them over there. So yeah, put to put your bet down on the pass line, then we'll wait. All right. There's a seven. There we go. Cool. Making money. What did you say the pass line means again? So, you are betting. It's basically that once the point is made, you are betting that the or the point is set, you know, the off chip is turned over to on, on one of those numbers that it goes above, and you're betting that that number rolls again before a 7. Or if, if a 7 rolls before the chi the number with the on chip above it rolls, you lose your pass line bet. All right, so 6 is very good. That's really good odds. <clears throat> I'm going to I'm going to double up my pass bet. And then I'm going to put uh I'm gonna put $50 on 8. I'm going to go big here. I'm going to go 25 on 9, 25 on 5, 10 on the other two. All right, put $3 on big $3? Mhm. Mm I want to even out my <laughs> stock. Mhm. Mm It's still there. It stayed? It stayed. Interesting. I'm curious to see if, um, if it's just more exponential, but it, it makes no sense. I don't know what the fuck that is. Big six, big eight.
Okay, okay. After this hand, I'm gonna go over check my telegrams. Go check your telegrams, file. I have no idea what I'm doing there still. Keep in mind, welcome strategy self-made and probably terrible. Right. <laughs> okay, guy. I don't know how the fuck these guys always make money playing this fucking game, dude. I hate it. I hate it, but I'm fucking addicted. <laughs> well, we only lost 40 bucks, so not the end of the world. Is that Nathan? <laughs> what? Pretty sure that's Nathan Perry. Yes, it is. Yep. We'll get Adam. Yeah. Dude, what the fuck? You think he saw us? I actually don't. I don't think he did. Must be in okay shape. <clears throat> hey. What no? You saw Nathan Perry. <clears throat> Probably at the telegrams. I don't think he saw us. We grabbing him. I don't want to grab him when they're one off, because then he's just gonna start doing it to everybody that fucking works for me. I know he's pretty fucked up right now. Um, what's the point of us? So that we're sticking together. <laughs> it is way well. Yeah, how much did you lose? Forty dollars. All right. Yeah, that means you're not done playing, right? Let's see. I actually made four dollars. There you go. Would you look at that, Will? You quit while you're ahead. Hilarious. He's not wrong. Mm. It's a fucking disease. <laughs> That's the best advice I'll give you, Will. I don't see anybody over this right now. Hmm. Must have been passing troll. <clears throat> or he's up enough Chevalier. He's eyeballing the telegram office. Oh, that's Mr. Kane. I don't need to talk to him. How you doing, Mr. Kane? <clears throat> How 
How do you? Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. Uh, you want to go over to uh, the Corrigan? We'll have a chair in the office. Oh, of course. All right, wonderful. been up to today anything interesting well, uh, not really it's been rather dull gotcha <clears throat> You better come upstairs and I'll go back down to fucking gamble. Take a seat, please. <clears throat> Can you hear me all right over there? Yes, I can hear you. All right, wonderful. So, uh, <clears throat> Mr. Kane, I, uh, I heard from some friends of mine that, uh, they came across you in, in their house the other day. <clears throat> Is that what you said? When I asked him that same question, he said he did not own the property. Well, you see, nobody in the crossing owns anything. But, uh... There are people that reside there. They don't like to share. Oh, yes, he may have been very clear. So, I'm, uh, I'm curious, you know, what, uh... What uh, convinced you to do, uh, go take an investigation over there? Well, he didn't tell you. I was looking to buy the house. Looking to buy it? <clears throat> yes. You got that kind of money? Are we soon? Well, soon. I know, uh... Indeed, sir. I know bartending contract, or, uh, you know, bartender wages. Take a long time to save up for a house like that. If you recall, on our first meeting, I did tell you about my brother, Richard. Richard, yeah, I do briefly remember that. <clears throat> See, uh, making his way to the crossing. Indeed he is. I see, and uh, your brother, he's got a lot of money. He has jewels. Jewels? I'm sure those were fetch a pretty penny. Yeah, we certainly think so. Of course, depending on the quality. <clears throat> so, uh, you're looking for a place for you and your brother to settle down in? Yes. I would prefer a Sandini. 
Yeah, good man. It's a good time. Best in a crossing. <clears throat> okay. And um you you have to apologize to me because you know, I feel like we only see each other a handful of times and <clears throat> I feel like I'm always calling you Mr. Kane. Um remind me your first name again. Is it Harold? Holland. Holland. Okay. Now did you use a different name when you spoke to them? No. Okay. As I told him, everyone calls me Kane. It's much easier. Right. I guess he was under the impression that you called yourself Havoc or something. Well, th for some reason, when I tell people my first name, they always hear something different. Which is why I tell everyone to call me Kane. Mm -hmm. It's much simpler. What did, what did he say his first name was again? You got no idea. Okay. All right. <clears throat> well, Mr. Kane, I'll uh, allow me to give you a bit of an education. All right. There's uh, two houses here in uh, Saint Denis that you should probably divert your interests elsewhere from. There's the house that you were exploring the other day, and then there is the big white house down the street from it. If you were to walk out of that uh, that mansion and go left, it would be straight ahead. You should be free. I think I've seen it. You should be free to uh, peruse any other houses except for those two. They are occupied. That sound good to you? Oh yes, that's um. He made it very clear to stay <clears> away. <throat> yeah, it's uh, <clears throat> probably a good thing you happen to be under my employment. <clears throat> Indeed, I kind of figured that when he put his gun, he was <clears throat> in happy to see me at all. Mm hmm. Have uh, have any other buildings caught your eye yet since then, or have you uh, put a pause on your, uh, your shopping? Well, there's actually, I believe it's an apartment building near the telegram office. On oh, a hotel Chevalier. Oh, it's a hotel then. I see. The one right on the corner, uh, yeah. straight ahead. Yes, that will be the one. Mm -hmm. All right, wonderful. <clears throat> well, um, it's good to hear you've uh, you've found a place you can settle down in. Um, and you you said you were interested in the the fighting uh, event on Monday, right? Yes, I was looking to <clears throat> check it out and perhaps place a wager. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't think it's any kind of RSVP or anything like that. So, as long as you know the date and time and the the place that the poster describes, you should be able to uh, walk right in if you got enough for the entry fee. Ah, good to know. Mm hmm Was there anything else that uh, you wanted to talk to me about? Well, I'm still uncertain as to the location of the event. Are you familiar with the marketplace here in the city? I think I have seen it. I believe. If you uh, if you go down the road towards the O'Doyle's Tavern, the red bar, the little one, um, from this direction. You'll see the main entrance to the marketplace is on your right. Directly across the street from that to the left is a gate. If you walk through that gate and you follow the path to uh, these large double doors, you find your way inside there, you'll find a fighting ring. 
wonderful. I would do that myself. Bene, bene. All right. Anything else I can do for you? Oh, no, no. That's all. <laughs> okay. Um, I do want to tell you while you're here, I don't think that, um, I don't think we're going to have the Corrigan Club open tomorrow. Uh, I'm probably going to be busy in the office. So, uh, as of right now, we're not planning on uh, opening up the club tomorrow night. So, you know. Understood. All right. Wonderful. Well, uh, I won't take up any more of your time, Mr. Kane. If you do come across these people again, and Mr. Smith or uh, any of his uh, associates, I would appreciate it if uh, you apologize to them. Mm. Apologize for the, uh, the the misunderstanding. Of course, of course, I will be sure to do that. Wonderful. All right. Well, uh, you're more than welcome to uh, to make your way out. And uh, if you need anything, let me know. Ah, one more thing, though. I did notice that the crates have been moved from the Bastille. Yeah, we've had uh, we've had some little thieves dipping their hands into the crates, and uh, one day they all vanished. <clears throat> We don't know if it was uh, the cleaners oh, or something, or if people just took all of them. But we had been losing merchandise from those crates. <clears throat> so, we are uh, currently in the process of uh, setting up a kitchen for uh, a lot of the bartenders who work the prominent shifts to, uh, to have keys to, where we'll keep all of that storage going forward. I'll let you know what that's looking like once it comes into fruition a little bit more. It'll probably be within the next week or two. Oh, all right, fam. For <laughs> a moment there, I was worried that you were leaving. No, no. Just uh, adapting. Always adapting, Mr. King. Oh, very good, sir. Well, then, uh, enjoy your evening, gentlemen. Likewise. Take it easy. On a photo. Take care, pal. You know, mm. multiple people have told me I have no emotion when I speak. I think that yeah, guy, that is, guy is the fucking king of it. Holy shit. Fucking enigma wrapped in a riddle. We'll give it a few minutes and then uh, back off. I think I'm done with the crafts today. Seriously? Yeah. <clears throat> Bank account's starting to fucking shrink. <clears throat> Tell me about it. Did the, oh. the Aiden said he ran that whole crate. Uh, has he talked to you at all about that? No, he hasn't. All right. And I know why, because Angelo's been telling everyone to reach out to him. Well, he ain't been around, so you still got to get I, a book I that know. you share. That's what I told him. You got to get a book that you fucking share. Look, I don't understand it either. Right? Yeah, I don't ever talk to him. But I figured it, it wasn't <laughs> worth an argument, so I let it be. Yeah, all right. <clears throat> all right, shut out. <laughs> Did you clip it when he said his name? Please tell me. <laughs> Please. It's actually unbelievable how easily I just fucking Tonight forget is every time. Red light as well. Oh, have fun with that. I got till Sunday. <clears throat> yeah, well, should be making some money on Monday. 
Yeah. God, I hope Dio shows up and kick the fucking shit out of him. Instantly forgetting it in under a minute, yeah. <laughs> I need to spore Mr. Bro Lillard. Alright, well. Where'd they get you last night? In my shoulder. Oh, great. Yeah, it's not good. Well, maybe you get some practice over the weekend. That's what I was thinking as well. Yeah. I'm following my horse, watch out. Okay, never mind. <clears throat> We're walking. See, that's loyalty right there. Shut the fuck up. Huh? Where's Dorado? I've been riding them all goddamn day, that's where. He got tired. <clears throat> Would you like to have prime, Mr. Billy? It's a red on war. Good to get the blood pumping. <clears throat> Vito tipped me off that Nathan was in town as well. Hold on! Why are they getting so fucking close? What? Did he inform you about anything else? No. But, uh, now I guess we know it wasn't a long stint. So maybe we should go have a chat. Yeah, maybe. And I completely forgot about that. You can take a walk down to the telegram station and telegram him. <clears throat> Alright, yeah. Let me swing by the Pearl, see if he's over there or the, or his, uh, the mansion first. Save yourself a telegram. Watch out for pirates. You want to put your money away first or not? <clears throat> right. I completely forgot. <clears throat> Let my balance has been on the decline. I'm back down to 20. Yeah, I'm about to dip below a big threshold, too. Fucking bullshit. Taking attention away from work. And I was halfway there to 30 as well. Hello. Yeah, how's it going? Good <clears throat> Alright, fuck it, I'll hop on. Actually, I don't want to sit on that disgusting thing. <laughs> Alright. Um, just go swing by the, uh, the, the white mansion. And we'll come back, see if they're at the Pearl. Uh, there was a bunch of horses when I went to bed near South of Pearl. Alright, we'll go there first then. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I just didn't pay attention when I just woke up from my nap, but... <clears throat> but they were there like, you know, 45 minutes ago mm -hmm. when I went to take a nap. <clears throat> Nathan Perry was in town. Interesting. Yeah, that's Captain Nathan Perry. Yeah, sorry. 
It's a weird place for him to come after getting yeah. fucked up. Yeah. I just got no fucking fear. <clears throat> yeah. It's like a conversation we had earlier. Also, all the horses is gone, so. Yeah. Alright, yeah, just go, uh... Hang on, let me get inside. Yeah, just peek your head through the door. Yeah, check the closet. Angelo and I found them in there once. Really? Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's hilarious. Oh, no veto in there. Let's see if they're out here. Not over here. Nothing. <clears throat> right, let's go to the big house. Guys, so fine. Bit, thank you, brother. Appreciate it. <clears throat> now, are you doing? What the fuck you doing? After you said I I'll leave. I'll be all right. Now where'd they get you? In the sod. Hmm. It's just a little hole. Will, did they hit you with the fucking shotgun? Yeah. Fuck. I can't be for sure, but I think it was just before... I went to join you guys. Yeah. I just don't remember seeing it. I seen the back of it, Adam's head, and then running over, and then uh, blacked out. Mm hmm. Anybody home? Fuck do I not have knock? Real dark in there. It's an action. Where are actions? Hello? Yeah, I guess not. I will right, we'll send the telegram. I told her she don't just tell her grandma. He said it every fucking time, but we've done that before and it fucking works. I'd rather just like go fucking. Once. I'd rather go fucking look for him and then. Uh, well, fuck it. Why's everything gotta be a goddamn telegram?
live right in the same fucking town, might as well go look for them. Got nothing better at the door. No road. No road. Italian American slang. Oh, yeah. Picasso fight. <laughs> Picasso fight? I'm trying to think about how I've heard people like enunciate that. Marveling yeah. that his pants uh, match the color of your voice. What was that? Well, nothing. I figured as much. I don't think I've ever heard that one. His pace. Sophia, okay, how are you, sweetheart? Who are these? My pairs. It's a shame. Yeah, Have <laughs> you taking out a donation box now? Yeah, 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 yeah. Man, I was donating already. Oh, okay. Speaking of, I gotta, I gotta stop by Balboni's. I gotta go get some peaches. Hard-headed. <laughs> oh! Gagoots. I've heard that before. Gagoots. Oh yeah, I've heard that one. Yeah, you Has got Joe got, uh, got this uh, place up and running yet? Yeah, there should be a post it. You know what? If uh, it's still over by the front door, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna grab it and move. It. I have one of you grab it, and move it over here. Come on, man. Come here, will. What? Grab me some coffee, will you? Yeah. Uh, how many uh, cups you want? You just want one cup. See yeah, if Constance fixed it. Perfectly. She didn't fix it yet. Uh, Constance hasn't fixed it yet. We'll leave that there for now then. What the fuck is this? Son of a bitch. M M rules. M. What is that? I don't know. What is what? It is. Uh, fucking uh, graf what? graffiti artists on a fucking uh, general store now. Those are up there. Where? 
Now let go. Oh. Something's painted oh, on the sign. The fuck? Do you read it? I can't make it out. We'll see if we can... Uh, well, yeah. well, we'll probably shouldn't. No, uh, no. Let me go get Aiden. Hey, Aiden, get over here. Yeah, where's my coffee, Will? Alright, god damn it, Aiden. Here, boss. <clears throat> See if you can make out what that says up above the general store sign. Way up top. It's a panther with dragon wings? It's a drawing. Huh. The fuck? And this says MM yeah, M. Rolls M. with a Z. Yeah, I don't know what that's all about. Stupid shit. <clears throat> hmm. Let's be honest, Mr. Barletta. This happens once in a while, and we usually fi never figure it out. Yeah, we'll never get to the bottom of it. Why bother giving a shot? Who did you want the, uh, the sign? Stunar. <laughs> um, I just want it to look better. Joking. <laughs> You know, that looks like a no, piece yeah, of shit. You know, I, I agree with you. I heard I'm looking at this and... Well, looks horrible. Did you grab the poster? I did. All right, leave it at the front door for now. When, right. when, once we have a better looking one, we'll put it right by the cash register. I honestly moved that one by the cash register. No, I don't want, I don't want people seeing that shit yet. <laughs> Just leave it at the front door. Fuck it. <laughs> yeah, according to Joe... Jamal wrote up that poster for him, <laughs> alright? <laughs> Are we good? Yeah. Let me get some pomade while we're here. I have some pomade if you want it. That's right. Apparently, yeah. I, uh, the, I've got two canisters. Yeah, I need six. Mm. Hey, Will, have you heard? They're selling the scented pomade at the Five dollars a fucking can. Yeah. Ridiculous shit. Tell me about it. Like that's stupid. Yeah, that's a ripoff. Rain that's fifty dollars. Discord camera to this year. Speaking up. stuffed pasta. Right, let's go to the stable to. so I can get my horse. <clears throat> Noticing some crossover in videos for some reason, but he's pretty entertaining with his little stories involving word usage. You got one? Yeah. Alright. I just saw the uh, kid wave me down. Yeah, we'll, we'll stop here for a sec. <clears throat> Pitch up your goddamn horse next time. <clears throat> I'm finding you $15. Yeah, I swear to God, if it's from old Peter. I guarantee it. I guarantee you that's where it's from. Uh, what was I gonna say? No, the there's this old Italian dude named Pasquale who has a cooking oh, yeah. YouTube channel. It's fucking yes, great, Adam. dude. Weren't there two natives? I would set Kelly and them. Uh, they are technically, I think, Conrad's people, but yeah, yeah they're they're close. We, we Rose, and their names. Rose and Charles. Rose and Charles. We should ask. Uh... The woman wears like a lawn cloth. Everything all right? Uh, that oh, flat Eddie's top there. medallion hat. What she sending in Telegram by? Food? No, she was asking uh, what, how I was doing. Oh, okay. No, it's not Pesquale. He's cooking express. He's a really old guy. Hello, everybody. <laughs> That's how he starts every video. Hello, everybody. Great, I... I've made some of the stuff that uh, that hey, he Will. does. Do you know a rose? 
Favorite pasta? Or sorrow recipes. Yes, that's him. Yes. Hello, everybody. So good. <clears throat> oh. That's a real Italian right there. He's off the boat, dude. Bookshop open. All right. <laughs> He had a TV show in the 90s or the 80s? Really? I didn't know that. Kind of funny. Yeah, like I saw, I was just careless. He's the funniest old man. <laughs> well, we can take a ride around if we want, see what's going on in other towns. St. Denis seems pretty quiet tonight. Or we can hang around. Sounds good. Alright. You know the campo? You know the campo. What do you say? Hmm. Yes or no? Why not? Say yes or no. Yes. Okay. What do you say about him? Hello? Can you hear me? Yeah. He's only a I talk normal. He's only met one of them. They're okay. worse than ours. Okay. So what? Where did the roads and Valentine? Yeah. Yeah, I'll tell you what to expect. A whole lot of nothing. Hey, you think it's quiet all over today? I think it probably is too, honestly. A lot of shit going on yesterday. This guy, Angelo's but Yeah. Dude, I don't think my timer's working, so we're gonna have to go. Uh, I'll go off of when it's 8 o'clock. We'll go at the top of the hour. I'll check one more time to see if it's working or not. People in there? No. I did run into uh, Bozy and Lydia earlier. Mm hmm. What were they up to? Saw them at the. Oh, that's when we're starting it. My horse was stuck up on a balcony.
you doing, miss? Get out of the way, fellas. Alright. Yeah, give me one second. Let me see if this works. One. <laughs> Had enough of the fucking attitude. <laughs> Dude, it's not even showing up now. What? Something blocking it? Oh, I see what happened. Yeah, he does. <laughs> He's great. Oh, dude, my my stream deck is up. Where did this go? Dude, what the hell? Who is that? Uh, where the hell do I put it? All right, I'll have to fix it later. I got nothing. Alright, we'll start at 8. Nope. I'm trying to set up my swear timer. Alright. Twenty minutes on the clock. <laughs> Dude, Carlo won't even ride on him. <laughs> Unless it's an emergency. He's he's like, I don't want to ride that stupid horse. So. <laughs> and then you got the one with Aiden. <laughs> Patty just has to has to pop him one day. <laughs> just gotta do it. He's just gotta walk out of the Bastille and just see his horse dead. <laughs> Dude, he's great. Hello, everybody. I'd take the horse perma, but he'd be so mad. Yeah. Th then he wouldn't be mad if you just paid him a grand, though. Money you don't have. But uh, I bought two crates of corn from Amblin the other day, so you uh, are gonna have to, uh, to pay me for those at some point. Plums are. Ain't you gonna be busy, my? Oh, okay. <clears throat> well, I'm hoping that we get like fu money. And then I just won't care and I'll pay it. <laughs> That's what I'm hoping. Just drop a grand to pop, pop his horse. People are online today. Seems really, really barren. <laughs> I'm 
156? That's not horrible. I'm still upset over the fact that I missed the fight night in the desert. Why? Because Jim Lee keeps boasting about it? No, the grand prize <laughs> was too grand. Oh, yeah, yeah. You had to be drunk to do that, though, you know. Alright. Forgot about the... No, Jim Lee being like I was saying, Jim Lee beat Gideon. Yeah. So we're not doing about. To be honest, all Jim Lee does. Slippy? He what? He turtles. He's a turtle. Hey, don't flood. I don't gotta check nothing. I'll be, it is a lazy day in the cross, and it looks like. been up for like three and a half hours it wasn't like this as well yeah kind of there's actually people here what this guy is not slowing down Eesh. she was in the bar That'll make me call the sheriff. How's it going, folks? Check. Not too bad, not too bad. Is uh, is anybody working? Nah, I didn't see anybody when we came in. Gotcha. I don't know if we've uh, we've ever met before. What's your folks' names? My name is Sarah. Miss Sarah, nice to meet you. Sarah. Sarah, okay. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did the same thing. It's uh, David, David Payne. I'm used to it. <laughs> David. All right. Well, my name's Mr. Bonletti. It's a pleasure to meet the two of you. Oh, I have pleasure. A, a, a Carlo, right? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, I met you at the uh, Flampet match. Oh, at, uh, yeah, back at the yeah, uh, the uh, been job a fair. While. Yeah, it's been yeah, a yeah, while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. How you been? No, not so bad. Yourself? You uh got that Flampet league uh, up and running? You were talking about? Ah, uh, no, we've uh, we've had to put our attention elsewhere for the time being, but uh, hopefully one day we'll have it up and running. Ah, yeah. It's hopefully. uh, it's hard to get eight people all willing to commit to one time, you know. Especially oh, on a regular four basis. from two different groups. Yeah. Yeah. So it's uh, that's proven to be the biggest hurdle. And what is this in regards to? Uh, Flamp It. It's a game that uh, we've organized here. It's very similar to rugby, if you're familiar at all. Not at all. Well, there's two teams of four. And they... One team is on offense. One team is on defense. And the team on offense... His objective is within four tries to carry a large animal pelt past the other team without getting tackled and running it in between two posts to score. And then the possession changes. I see. <clears throat> it's, a, it's a lot of fun. And, you know, the other people who aren't carrying the pelt uh, block for the person carrying the pelt, and, you know, by tackling the other team. So a bit, a bit physical, but uh, people really enjoy it. 
Sounds like something that would be fun to watch, at the very least. It certainly is. It certainly is. Yeah, we play oh, yeah. uh we play our matches down at the Rhodes Marketplace. There's a flampet uh flampet pitch down um down below it. If they ever hear about a game, perhaps I'll attend. Wonderful. Look forward to seeing you there. Alright, I'm gonna help myself to some stool here. We'll probably be on our way. What brings you folks out to uh Valentine? I thought uh you folks mostly stayed out uh towards the uh city. We certainly do. But uh <clears throat> good to take an adventure every once in a while, no? Oh, I agree, yeah. Let's uh I'm good friends with the the uh the guy that runs this bar. I haven't seen him oh, in quite yeah. a long time. I don't know if uh, Cage's been out of the crossing or not for a little bit. I've not seen a whole lot of the regulars here at the bar in a while. I was here for a show, and I'm leaving disappointed. I guess it's too quiet. <laughs> All right, you take it easy, folks. Yeah, you too. as well. Jeez, there is nothing going on today. It's all out west, be my guess. Alright, we'll go past them and we'll go back to the city. Yeah, that's one nice horse. That one time, when that senile old lady stole Isaac's horse. <laughs> wasn't it, um, wasn't it, uh, Mama Longhorn? I don't remember who it was. I, I don't either. All I remember was that it took him a solid second to realize yeah. it was his horse. <laughs> Yeah, for some strange reason, when I was staring out the window and someone was reminding you of that. <laughs> it's pretty funny. And didn't you two go on a full blown chase through town? No, I don't remember. <laughs> All I remember is her riding off on a horse. Weren't we playing poker or something? We were. Yeah, so I, obviously I didn't go out and chase it because I was probably at the table. From what I remember, how is it going to be chasing one bell? It might have been me. I don't know. I'd be up for a poker game tonight. I don't know who's around that would want to play though. Do these two have enough to play with? No. Well, Do Aiden I does, but Do will not. Have nah, I'm broke as shit. <laughs> you gotta get to them deliveries, kid. Hey, hey. Hard work begets hard cash. I don't believe you have a crate. You don't? Do you have a crate, Will? No, I don't have one. Oh, you yet. don't? I thought, uh... I thought Angelo gave him one. No, Angelo gave him one. Oh, you. right, 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 right. Okay. Alright. Yeah, I, I have to take Jackie and do a run or two with him. Yeah. He just hasn't been around when we haven't been busy. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he's got to do it tonight, but I don't know if he's going to be around. Yeah, he's got to do training. Well, he got pretty fu uh, messed up yesterday, too. I do. Should swing by the telegram station real quick. I guess we can follow this road. I 
There's a horse by the wheat fields. Okay. <laughs> I'll forget about the information. The Wallace Boy. Mm. What's their name again? Lucas and Oliver? Yeah, right. They're gang name. I think he Luke does ranch work. I don't think he picks wheat. Ain't that what they said? He does ranch work. I believe so. I don't remember exactly what he was on. Huh? There's too many boys. Come up with something original, all right? <laughs> there are a lot of boys, yeah. Dirty boys, lost boys. I actually can't think of any other ones besides them, though. There another group? Call themselves the boys? Something boys? Surely there were more, no. Nah, I can't really think of any. We can swing by, see if he's doing work over here. Fuck it. But I ain't in the business of scooping him up, because then it's just going to lead to everybody that fucking works for me getting picked up one, one by one. I don't plan on picking them up. Oh, there's somebody over there. How funny would it All be? All this to... does is chosen that we could have done something, but we chose not to. Nah, it's abroad. How you doing? <laughs> that look like him? No. Yeah. She puts on a real good disguise. That guy was wearing dress pants and a flannel. <laughs> ah. Chinese soldier. Yeah, up. you can't do that. Maybe that's what I'll do tonight. I'll put that together? Mm -hmm. Christ. You know, celebrate Halloween, six days to look. <laughs> so weird sometimes the horses sound way friggin loud There's only four of us I'll reopen that pan and everything <laughs> all right I want to swing by the job board see what it's looking like sure just for fun Could always call it an art. Yeah, we could. I did not get a lot of sleep last night. Yeah, to be honest, neither did I. I have left. Did we ever... Oh, those names that I had Aiden write down? No, I haven't looked them up yet. Telegrams. The telegrams, yeah. Oh my 
God, that, that is horrible. Oh, that's not a bad bank bonds job, actually. Wow. It's $30 a bond. Hmm. Pretty good bank bonds job. Oh, Sean Jones. Oh, horrible. Pretty horrible. Gotta go, Anton. <laughs> yep. I'm not really in the mood. You guys want to do something? You can. I, I may just. Uh, I may call it a night. See if there's anything going on in town. Why are we still galloping? Wow. All right. Swear timer's over. And I didn't cuss once, folks. Look at a body. Little horsey there. Excuse me, Aiden. What are you smoking, Aiden? Mark can't smoke a cigarette without being questioned. Mm. All right. All right, I uh yeah I think I'm gonna go to bed. Yeah, I'll probably rest. Yeah. Maybe for the best. Yeah, All right, fellas. I try to see you tomorrow. No. Yeah, good night. Well, actually, I don't know if I'll see you tomorrow, but uh, if I yeah, if okay. I do, it'll be a little bit later, like sure. a couple of hours later than usual. Sure. Yeah, I got family in town the next uh, next two nights, guys. Is everyone just gonna go to bed? I got uh, family from very far away in town, so I don't know. Uh, 
I don't know how much I'm going to be able to spend with them. Or versus how much I'll be able to get on my computer. But I'll probably be spending a lot of my time with them. Alright. Let's find someone to raid. Sorry, not a whole lot going on today, but, uh, you know, sometimes there are those days. Come on. There we go. Teleport into the chair. Alright. For some reason, the extended camera is funky. Blah. All right, who's live? Who's live? Who's live? Uh, I guess we can raid. Uh, we'll raid Carl's. Please, Rick and Lou. The muds. <laughs> Alright, y'all. Go send him some love. Appreciate you guys sticking around today. Sorry it wasn't a little bit more entertaining. But, um... If I am back around tomorrow... Hopefully you'll get the notification. It probably won't be for long. But we'll be back on, uh, on the weekend. For sure. Alright, I will see everybody later, as always folks, until next time, take it easy.